All right, so welcome back guys to another Cookie Cootie. My name is Cookie and today I'm going to show you guys what I received uh, from the mail today and um, of course they're related to Fate products so uh, don't be surprised, you guys should know by now. Um, yeah, I bought some limited time uh, items through uh, Kozuguru and uh, you know, I decided to buy all the products that are uh, related to my waifus in the Fate series. So. Um, some of these items are actually limited, uh, actually if not most of them, or all of them. Uh, I don't know when they're gonna restock, but um, hopefully they will because I do want some, most of their products, but I couldn't because uh, I didn't get the chance to buy them all. But if they ever restock, I'll be sure to uh, buy as soon as possible. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So we'll start off with this one right here, who is Semiramis, or sh sh uh, Assassin of uh, black I believe or was it red I think it was red assassin of red in the fate apocrypha series so let's go ahead and uh, unwrap this okay so first item of course since this is also a keychain not only a, an acrylic stand uh, it comes with a little chain right here but I'm not going to use it as a keychain of course because first of all it's way too big it's like it fits uh, as it's as huge as my hand basically at the palm of my hand and uh, this is not the type of item I would put as a keychain because it'll probably break pretty easily so uh, luckily they give us a little stand for you know uh, to put it as a decoration I'm gonna go ahead and uh, unwrap this as well this fits okay so it fits just fine I thought it wouldn't fit that to be honest with you but uh, if you guys want to know what the back is it's not really impressive it's just all white but that's okay because we're only seeing her on one side anyway so I'm gonna put it right there and uh, I'll show you guys uh, all the stands together all together at the end of the video so don't worry about it so I'll put it right here now next is um, Atalante, and she is an archer in the same series. And uh, just to let you know, this is also uh, a very limited item. So uh, not only that, but it's also exclusive to the uh, Kozuguru site that I bought. Uh, from what it's written in the site, that is. So I could be wrong. Could be. In, I mean, they, they are. They do have an eBay too as well. So that's also one place to buy the products. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap the second one. It always feels good to unwrap new products. Of course, they have the chain for the keychain and the stand itself as well, so that's no surprise. And just like the other one, I'm not about to use this as a keychain as well. Because let's be real here, who uses these as keychain? You're probably want you're ask you're probably asking for the product to be broke like broken in half the moment you, you use that as a keychain. So not for me though. And of course, uh, there's no back, just like the semi Ramis one. So this is Atalante, the green archer from the same series. Let's see if I can focus this well. Actually, yeah, that's good. But don't worry, you guys can see it later uh, once I'm finished uh, with all these unwrappings. So next one is Mordred, who is uh, one of my favorite servants uh, of Saber class, by the way. Also voiced by the same voice actress who does Sinon from Sora Online or Selty from the Duda Lara series and many more which is one of the reasons why I actually like her um, ah crap alright ah interesting alright let's go ahead and uh, she's actually pretty skinny uh, I mean her stand is let's go ahead and uh, focus as well 
here's the back of course and here is the front now let's go ahead and put this stand right here okay this is great I'm liking this they're quite expensive for what they are but I think that's pretty much what a acrylic stand is supposed to be uh, in terms of price I could be wrong though but I did buy them for $24 uh, yeah it's pretty expensive but hey they're limited and exclusive to one site so I think it's pretty worth it not to mention I mean come on look at these they're pretty like nice stands so I'm pretty happy with what I got all right the next uh, the fourth one would be Skahawk and this is not actually by the same uh, company who made these stands it's actually it's another company that uh, that does it and uh, as I'll show you guys the book later but she this one right here comes from uh, the same artist who drew uh, this entire art series so uh, I'll show you guys later in a second oh my bad all right let's put this in the back and uh, let's go ahead and uh, unwrap this and as you can see the wrapping is actually not as uh, high quality as these because I believe that the ones that made this is actually not an official uh, company that does fake it's just like an artist a fan art artist who does uh, the series art so that's what I think I could be wrong so I'm um, but it kind of looks like it. So um, this was also limited to these sites. Uh, you can't find anywhere else in uh, Kozuguru. So uh, if you guys are curious, that's where I got it from. Uh, let's go ahead and unwrap this. All right. I will say one thing though, that one, I'm liking the, the way they put the stand. It's kind of remnants uh, of the actual game itself. Um, hmm. Although I have to say, I do not know what's the front nor the back. Okay, so let's go and leave it like that. All right, so first thing, uh, it's both uh, sided two sides so it's pretty good but um, I can clearly tell that this part right here is the front because for some reason there's a plastic I don't know if you guys can pretty much see it okay it's hard to see it okay you guys can see it a bit but there's a plastic over here now I'm not too sure if this plastic is the one plastic that holds the the image uh, stick glue to the uh, acrylic itself or it's just a plastic to protect the sticker but either way I'm gonna keep this uh, just because I want to protect uh, this side of the the stand and that same goes for this uh, plastic uh, right here that is in the stand itself you guys can somewhat see it based on the reflection um, but yeah I'm not going to remove them because one I don't know if it sticks there because of the plastic but I, at least it's it protects that one side so it's all good so I'm gonna put the, the stand right here. Okay, so I managed to put it in. Um, took me a while, but um, I did it. And uh, the reason why I actually, how I actually did it is because I decided to switch uh, the plastic area uh, upside down because normally this right, well, from what I'm understanding is this is supposed to be uh, presented up here and this is supposed to be presented down here and now you guys are wondering why it makes a difference it really doesn't but because the plastic right here is like a backside because uh, the plastic I showed you guys earlier it's supposed to be here so it could be hidden but uh, just like this side right here which is the backside so this is what I'm getting but I think they kind of screwed up when it comes to the sides but to be honest with you it doesn't really matter um, what's most important is actually uh, that these things fit in general and that this thing can be stand up like this so uh, I don't want to you know break my uh, head just for this so it's all good uh, so yeah like I said before or if I didn't mention already this is a little lower quality than these which is why it's only $16 compared to the $24 over here 
Um, but hey, at least there's two sides, right? So that's one thing. So it's all good. Now the next one is uh, actually a freebie that came with uh, the book that you see here. So which is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's an actual keychain. So this is not a a stand whatsoever. Um, and it's also the same material as these. So it's an acrylic keychain for um, that came as a bonus. So I mean I I can unwrap this right now and show you guys what it's all about. So see. I can even see it right here. Um, see, so you see, notice how the point of the uh, the tip of the the shoe is pointing towards the left, as opposed to this one right here. It's pointing towards the right. The actual one is supposed. To, this side right here is actually supposed to be up here. So that's actually what I I was actually right about this. So, um, like I said, though, it's not a big deal. I wish they could have fixed this, but hey, whatever. I get what I paid for, I guess. Even though it's kind of expensive, but um, this is uh, two sides as well, and uh, oh, this is actually made from the same material as the Skyhawk one over here. So if you, I can't really focus, but I'm gonna try my best. Uh, okay, you guys can probably see it. There's a plastic right here. So uh, this is obviously the back side, and this is the front. Uh, I'm gonna sort of focus this. All right. So I don't know what the theme of this is, to be honest, but it's actually pretty legit. Um, it's pretty cute too. So kudos for that. So I'm gonna put it right here and uh, refocus this again. So here is the book uh, that I bought in the same site. So all of these are have come from the same site. So if you guys are interested, I can put in the link, uh, the link in the description below. So the cover of the book is with Nero. Let's go ahead and focus that, please. And uh, the book is called Fate Party Night Fate Series Illustration um, Art Book. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you guys what's in it. In it. So uh, this won't take long because it's actually fairly short. So if you guys are interested, you guys before buying it, you guys I can show you show it to you um, just to see if you guys. It's, think it's worth it um, so first page is with mosh and the second all right so the second page of every characters is always uh, acrylic uh, style meaning that this right here is actually a uh, acrylic stand in the site itself but I wanted to buy it but it sold out but thankfully they're going to restock uh, reason why I noticed is because I did contact them, uh, the site itself, to ask if they have more in stock eventually. And they say, they said they will around this month, or at the end of the month, or the beginning of the next. Here is uh, Tamamo in all her glory and her sassy look. Um, and here is the one figure, uh, entire body figure, of the acrylic stand that is also sold in the site itself. Now I'm not gonna show you guys in detail, but uh, just to show you guys what a, the book is all about. Let's go ahead and zoom this. Focus, I mean. Here it is. Also, as usual, this is, there's an existing existent stand for this acrylic style. But do remember that it's the same quality as Skyhawk one. Here is Mama Raiko, and here is her uh, entire figure. And of course, I was quite surprised to see this. You guys know why this is, so I don't want to get any more into detail with that. Otherwise, this video will be age restricted. Uh, here is Shuten, who, by the way, is the current servant of the uh, event right now that is going on. And if you guys are wondering, yes, I am playing the event. I did try to roll for her once, but I did not get her. Here is the lollies. There's a, two separate stands for each of them, so if you buy them both, you can actually make a little couple uh, stand next to each other. And here is uh, 
their lingerie at the bottom leg. And for some reason, they have their own dedicated uh, two-page image, which is nice. I mean, they're not my favorite characters, of course, but like, oh, here you see. This is waifu right here. Um, I have to be honest with you, although she is my waifu, she doesn't look as good uh, in this image for some reason. I mean, I will buy her stand eventually. Uh, it's a good image, but I still prefer like Mosh or Skahawk over her. Same goes with uh, Alter Saber, to be honest. Like, it's a nice drawing, but uh, not the best. So let's go ahead and that. All right, fan service. It's all good. Fan service right here. Um, here is Skahawk. Same one as this one right here. So as you can tell, as you can see, there's um, pretty much all the characters that have their own stand. And uh, here is the back, the bottom, and the backside bottom, and her dedicated image right here. Right, here is Nero, which is actually pretty nicely drawn. Um, and again, there's an acrylic stand for her, but sold out currently. Hopefully, it will be restocked. This is the same image uh, as the cover, and here is Ultimate Trap of Stolfo. Of course, there's a stand for him too. Yes, it's a him. For those who don't know anything about the series, um, why? I don't know. Just because. Um, of course, there's a dedicated image for my guy. Oh, by the way, I don't hate the character, but uh, Astolfo. Um, that's actually a good character. I like him. But it's a trap, so don't even bother. Um, but hey, who cares, right? That character is so popular in the fake community. Here's the backside, by the way. That no one even cares if it's a dude. So that's all there is to it for the book. Uh, you get what you pay for. I mean, yeah, it's twenty-four dollars. Um, it's not bad. Not much page, but. Hey, I really dig the, the art stuff, so I really don't care. All right, so here they are, the four stands that I bought uh, in the Kozuguru site. Oh, I just noticed that she is actually quite bigger than these three. So um, despite the price, she's actually a decent size. Uh, so I'll go start with Mordred right here. So let's take a closer look. Let's go ahead and uh, hopefully it works, the focus. Next. Let's go ahead and archer this bitch. Pretty cool. I like the um, half tomboy, uh, half skirt uh, suit she got there, which is cool. Uh, obviously, uh, this is the most tomboyish out of the three characters. Uh, here is Semi Ramis, liking her character, though I do didn't realize her hair was this long. If that's her hair at all. I think she, it is her hair. Holy crap. And here is Skahawk. Which is an art done by the same artist in this book. Um, I will buy more. Uh, I will buy more uh, stands from, from this art. Um, the reason why I didn't buy them is actually because they were sold out, as I mentioned multiple times. But anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe for more till then i'll see you guys in the next cookie coolie